Hey, hey guys, guys. <laughs> welcome to Pitch Storm. I'm Wade Lord Minion 777. I'm here with Pat, Gar, JP, and our first executive of the night, Z. Thank you. Thank so, you. You're all fired. Great. Well, that was it. Thank you guys yes, for coming out and watching. Yes, Stay yes, tuned for whatever comes bye. next. Until next time. No. Um, oh. How do we uh, I get, oh. see you? <laughs> Oh, I forgot how uh, to do that for a second. scared the crap out of me. I, I was the table. I was also the table. Uh, so oh, real Lord. quickly, we, we just went over how to play. Um, Z, do you want to explain it again? Just because you're no, our expert. I I'll explain this, it otherwise. I think I get it. Every time we do this. Here's how you play, everybody. <laughs> so you draw either three character cards or three plot cards. I chose to draw yes. three plot cards. You can see mine right here. You can see I haven't read them yet, Minor so characters. I don't know what they say. Mm -hmm. So right now, Z's our first executive. So just like in Red Flags, the four boys and I, one, two, three, the three boys <laughs> the and I boys. <laughs> are pitching to Z our movie. How do we do that? Well, since I drew three plot cards, I have to draw one character card. I'm stuck with that character card. I will play that card down along with my choice of plot. As I'm pitching this to Z, shut up, pet. As I'm pitching this to Z, uh, Z at any time can take these note cards and throw them out. And I have to incorporate whatever that note says into my pitch count. He can this throw one, he can throw none, he can throw five. It's up to him. Uh, what if every character, if every was, every hit character was a hitman? I would just have to <laughs> say, well, in that case, uh, and just incorporate it in. Then after my pitch is over, it goes to JP. Then JP pitches his, and I think JP drew character cards, so he gets to choose his character yeah. card, he's stuck with the plot. Then as he starts pitching, Z can throw shit at him, then JP will probably cry, and then whenever he's done, we'll move on to Gar. <laughs> you know, Gar will be is... busy eating, he'll probably have to skip his turn, we'll go to Pat, who's busy typing <laughs> nonsense to me, then we'll go back to Z, Z will say Wade wins, and that's it for the first round. This is Red Flags, except for we're movie executives, and we're pitching to one person only, and we can't screw each other. Wink, walk. The end. No, I, I could screw you over financially. Uh, okay, uh, you can. Uh, Only all right. can wait, screw us. Wait, wait, start, start, start pitching a uh, movie here. Uh, all right, let me see yeah, my... Um... They'll, they'll, they'll get it. They'll get it. Give me a character it's... and give me a plot. Are you, are you zero? Do I have Disney to choose the plot chance? before I read my character, Z? <laughs> no, you pick the other card first. Then I, get, I get to see what my character is before I choose the plot. Yeah, yeah, that's what would be the point that's of fine, us that's fine, that's yeah. fine, Okay. I think you should put your character card down first if you picked plots. Well, here's yeah, my character wanna... card. I just drew it. So let me see. An astronomer that thinks they've made contact with aliens. All right, so that's okay. going to go with... Uh, I could think of stuff for that. Perfect. Here we go. Quiet on the set, <laughs> you little shits. Director Wade is here to kick your asses. Listen, okay. Mr. Executive Z, I've got the perfect idea for a movie, all I'm right? Listening. I'm listening. An astronomer. That thinks they've made contact with aliens, okay? And now, hmm. you, you say astronomer, who do you think of? Halle Berry, same as me. I, Perfect. Jodie Foster. Okay, Jodie Foster would be a close <laughs> second, but, you know, we can call them both, we can negotiate have contracts, we'll see who we can afford. I, I have not. I don't watch movies, I just make them. I make that doll, Rio. <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like a go-getter in this world. As far All as right. the aliens go, now, I'm thinking, like, who's affordable, who's not? Do we want Tom Cruise? He's kind of alien-like, but probably expensive. So, we'll work on the aliens. We can probably get some low budgets. So we don't even have to pay them, honestly. We can probably just get some extras, throw in the background. But here's where it gets crazy, all right? They make contact with mm -hmm. aliens. They end up on an alien world. This alien world is very similar to ours in the sense that they also have insane asylums. And this astronomer uh -huh. incites a rebellion mm -hmm. in this oppressed insane asylum to try to get out. It's crazy. Okay. It's great. Okay. It's wild. I love uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. You love it. We're gonna be rich. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm seeing, like, this asylum's gonna have, like, gray brick. We're talking, like, cobwebs, metal bars, uh, probably uh -huh. some people running around, like, pretend to be, like, airplanes and shit. Like, you know, real asylum stuff. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. And all the while, and, uh, Halle Berry, or, or Jodie Foster, you know, whichever one we get, uh, <laughs> is over both, there, like, you know, talking about stars or whatever it is astronomers do. Uh -huh. I think it's gonna be great. I think, hold on, hold on, can I, can I interrupt real quick? Uh, By all means. What if we add a really hot love interest? We want this to be a, the perfect date night movie. Oh, That's yeah. What the people are into right now. Okay, so what if, okay, got it. So Jodie Foster, uh -huh. right, main character. You want Jodie, we'll get Jodie. But finds an alien astronomer, played by Halle Berry, in the asylum. <laughs> And okay. their love and their inability to get together because of the bars that separate them caused them to incite this rebellion. <laughs> 
You know, right, Wade, you're not we're breaking already. barriers of love, not only between races, genders, what have you, but alien species. We are progressive okay. as fuck up in here. I see why the rules say 45 seconds. Yeah, I mean, so like, <laughs> excuse me, quiet on the set. <laughs> I rest my case, Mr. Z. Well, mine already won, so we might as well skip first round. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know, yeah. I hate the fact that I'm gonna have to go after Wade, but you know, you can't beat let's like me. A, let's, do, let's do a couple minutes maximum. How about that? Just All right, like... fuck you guys. I see how it is. I don't think I will go as long as Wade. I'm, I'm gonna get to the point. Okay, <laughs> so that's my plot. Hmm. Hmm. Overdone. Overdone. Uh huh. Generic. Plot. What are you gonna okay. get? Ninety-year-old Harrison Ford in this? <laughs> okay, guys, I got it. I got it. This is my movie. Okay. All right, Z. Listen, I'm going. New, Listening? you know, new style. I am gonna make a movie. <laughs> now, give me out on this. This is gonna be oh, a lot. Oh shit! A pair of stoners <laughs> that just ran out of weed find Great. out that they are the heir to a throne of an ancient kingdom. Now I'm thinking like temples, uh, you know, pyramids. Oh, you got cat towers. You know, just all of that amazing. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> Listen. All right. Yes, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. I, I know this sounds out there, but this is gonna be a top hit. I'm talking. You know, Jennifer Aniston could be in the movie. That may be the only actor I reference. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Gonna... <laughs> Yo, I can't. I can't interrupt. Sorry. Just keep continuing. Keep continuing. Listen here. I know it's out there, but why don't we just keep going out there? Why not? What, now, you know, uh, can I? Can I? Hold on. I. I, I have an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an I, idea. I do love the one and only actor you were able to name. I, <laughs> oh, I have let's mad get some more. respect. The best stoner actress I can think of, Jennifer Aniston. Absolutely. Let's okay. add a dinosaur. We're gonna, to, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to reframe my, my movie a little bit. We're gonna find a teleporter. That, or, I'm sorry, a time traveling machine that puts them back in time, where then they <laughs> then learn that they're the heir to the throne of an ancient kingdom. And and all of their servants will be dinosaurs, so there will be more than one dinosaur. I swear, oh. minus Jennifer Aniston, I think this movie actually exists already. Yeah. <laughs> I like it so far. I was thinking of like a, a Seth Rogen. Uh, Seth Rogen, yeah, yeah. Jennifer no, let's, let's Aniston just, yeah. is two stoners. Pi it's a pineapple yeah. express okay. type movie. I'm, I'm gonna just say right now, this is the road to El Dorado for adults. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all um, I like it. Oh okay, I think we have, uh, maybe Seth Rogen and... instead of the horse, it's a dinosaur. It it's <laughs> you, we're seeing shit, man. Seth Rogen <laughs> and uh, Will Ferrell. What happened to Jen Aniston? <laughs> what? <laughs> what about James Franco? <laughs> you know what? You're, you're a good producer. It's a good buddy stoner movie. <laughs> I just made the movie. You're not wrong. Cigar, what's your plot? All right, uh, so. Uh, Z Royal Disney over there. I got a plot Ooh. for you, and that, that's like our characters are on a quest for a treasure that will save the kingdom. You're probably already thinking it looks kind of similar to the, the JP story over here, but um, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like it has very humble beginnings. Humble, oh, yeah. Starting with an old <laughs> fisherman at low end sea <laughs> is on the quest to find this treasure. I, I don't know if you've heard of him. I, there's a very like up and coming actor who goes by Wade Barnes. I think he'd be perfect for this role. Really? And he's gonna he's gonna it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those like those timeless classics where it's gonna it's not th that much excitement, but it's just the art form of how it's like in this dark nor oh. ocean. Wait. And Speaking... the, the the color of the world is hanging on the the edge of Wade's fishing rod. Hold on. Speaking of excitement, I know how we uh -huh. can make this movie more exciting. Oh, don't tell me. What if the man, the main character, had a <laughs> nuclear bomb strapped to them? <laughs> that would be more exciting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if he doesn't find the treasure, the nuke will go. <laughs> so we stressed. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Sure I am very good at playing <laughs> stressed out characters. I am directing my own movie, but I'll put you in contact with my agent. We can work this out. 
Okay, that sounds great. We'll get both they done. They only pay in chicken yeah. wings, Wade. That oh okay? my god, that's what I had for so, dinner so, tonight. <laughs> so, Zero, I know you're like more for family movies, but like I'm sure this will get that other audience that you've been looking for. Oh yes, yes. I mean, people crave action these days. That's Nuclear the missile crazy. fisherman audience. Yeah, the, the tension is what they want. I know what the people want. That suppressed executive. old man, old fisherman tension. <laughs> I feel like this would have been a good Denzel movie, but you know, Denzel, look out, I'm coming up. <laughs> All right, you've had, some, you've had some weird aliens and stoner guys go find an ancient kingdom, and then you got Wade the Fisherman. But I'm here with a better pitch, okay? I've got a child beauty pageant queen. Oh. All right. Uh huh. Yep, yep. Now, you might be thinking, JP. how could this get better? Oh, yeah, continue. <laughs> JP. Thank you. I'm honored, I guess. Thank you. Uh, I, I guess, but yeah, so this child pageant queen is going to be having to stop a child mayor <laughs> from bankrupting <laughs> their hometown because okay. they found out, she found out her name. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I was thinking of. Oh gosh, there's so many good the child is, acts. Is this the a sequel to it Boss is, Baby? It is. This is me. <laughs> Yeah, it could be like a boss baby. I was thinking a child beauty pageant queen, kind of like Adam Sandler. It's like a Jimmy yeah. Neutron. Yeah, yeah, like, it, yeah, yeah, but voiced by, it's going to be mainly animation, but voiced by Adam Sandler. That was my, my main thing here. Uh, but he, he must stop a child mayor, who I was thinking maybe Charlie Sheen, uh, from bankrupting their entire hometown. Okay, well, how about, what if we add some, some dragons and ice zombies? People go, <laughs> people go crazy for ice that. Ice zombies. zombies, you know, the ice zombies could be cool, but I was thinking about having this in a tropical land. The dragons would definitely fit with this hometown. Definitely can make this happen. Can but go for we... more of a Skyrim feel, if you like, but... actually. The ice zombies can make dragors. Yeah. Change, you know, strike this. Dragor? I'm going to have Hod Towered. My lord and savior, instead oh, of being Adam Sandler, is going to be Hod Towered. Hod Towered. Cousin of you're, Todd Howard. You're going to enter the Thieves Guild and he's there and he yeah, turns he's just to there. you and says, 16 <laughs> times the detail. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. I'm going to need to stop this child mayor. This went from like an arc of them like overcoming their own like, you know, insecurities and adversities to turning into like a horror movie real quick. <laughs> Oh, no, I mean it could be, but you you'd have to find Good out. Old Hod Tower. Yeah, the watch it to find out. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, well, well. Z has got quite the amount of picking to do. Four well, times no. the dragons. There were what you guys did great and all, but like most? oof. <laughs> weed is weed is on the weed? up right now. <laughs> weed it's on, it's on it's on the up. I think you had to say Wade is. is on the <laughs> up. <laughs> Wade the old date night. I mean, Wade the old fisherman. Look, I'm a part of two of these tales, Z. You can't go wrong. This has it, this is an action movie, and it both has the capability of winning an Oscar with the artsiness of it. Uh huh. Oh. And then but ice zombies. I got Hot Howard and Charlie Sheen. Okay. Imagine Who hasn't Charlie Sheen as a child mayor. Who needs them when you have Wade Barnes over here? Who hasn't dreamed of the love that between be Halle Berry and Jodie Foster? <laughs> I, I don't I think I want the Buddy Stoner movie and they discover yeah. the air is oh. <laughs> So what do I how do, what do I keep here? Do I keep the this uh, card? I, I don't character card? Really, I'm not really sure. But there's no really scorekeeping thing. Um okay. you can keep the note card maybe. I knew I should have gone to Paramount. Oh, wait, oh I'm back the, to I'm the, the drawing board. Oh, yeah. I'm the executive now. Y'all are fucked. <laughs> Unless yeah. we went the other way. Mm -hmm. I go first, dang. Okay. All right. Um okay. Got it. What do I want to do here? Uh, oh, I got this. This is good. Okay. So, Wade, all right, whenever. Okay. I want to pitch you a movie about a divorced dad who's trying to reconnect with his kids. You know, I'm thinking ugly breakup with the mother. You know, I'm thinking, you know, ugly breakup. Runs okay. off with the kids. He only gets to see him on Fridays. That kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, he is going to struggle to write the next American great novel, or the next great American novel, excuse me. I mean, either way it works, but, you know. And I think with that story that he's going to write, he will then connect with his kids. He's going to tell them all the stories he wish he could have told them growing up, and I think that'll be a great way for the kids to connect with their father when they can't see All right, see hold on, all hold time. on, hold on. I think, <laughs> I like where you're going with this, 
But I think we need to add some horror elements to this. <laughs> here we go. Okay, uh, you know, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, the mother gets kidnapped, and he's going to have to chase after them, and he's going to write a book about this. So not only is he going to have a story to connect with his kids, but he's also going to connect with his kids trying to save his mother. So, kids are great. Kids are great, but cats are the new hotness. Come on, let's have ten cats. What? Hmm. I I would disagree. You can only do one. <laughs> I'm breaking the rules here, Z. <laughs> Excuse me. I want cats. <laughs> oh God, this movie's gonna be insane. <laughs> when they get home, they adopt two cats from the shelter. There. All right, that's There's eight short. Cats. But you know, we'll talk about it later, I guess. I was gonna say this. This this kind of sounds like my dad. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I was getting. So you, I, I didn't know you were making a movie about my dad. <laughs> I was getting some Gone Girl vibes from this. Gone didn't girl. I wrap it together pretty nicely? Like, no, that like, was good. Like, that was good. I like, like the way you sold this, that. Except for this. Uh, I'm sorry <laughs> that somebody else tried to get involved with our movie, but you know, I guess that's the way it works. Gar, you're gonna Give get me five note cards. Movie. I got a pee. Soccer movie. That's a horror movie. <laughs> trying to reconnect with the start, kids. But I'm gonna pee. Real quick. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. I heard your pitch. <laughs> On a deadly whitewater rafting trip. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, how? So, here. Wait, I have a perfect idea for a comedy. A caveman recently brought back to life on a deadly <laughs> whitewater rafting trip, and okay. like, like it, it's like he's not he's not even on a raft the whole time. He's in his ice block, and you're just like watching as he's going through all these deadly scenarios while he's still just recently encased in ice. Okay, okay. But at the very end, when all the water is hitting his, his little iceberg, that's when he's finally released. He, I'm he, feeling he, it's, it's missing beach. something though. Like, oh, tell there, me. There, there's that not enough missing. conflict. I think. We need to add some chess. What if like the some entire chess. whitewater oh. rafting trip was centered around like a chess tournament somehow, like a, a oh, moving chess so tournament? They're playing chess on his ice cube. Perfect. Yes. Wait. Yes. Why did I just come back to you? <laughs> <laughs> it's this movie. <laughs> it's the best movie, see? That's what it is. You can play chess on an ice cube. <laughs> well, I, I don't know how to do this. I'm not allowed to do this, Gar, but I, I love it so much. What if there was a giant monster attack too? Oh shit, you have Godzilla in the background. You made a Godzilla movie on like, the side. Imagine the stress of drama. playing chess while there's monster attack. And caveman I like ice whitewater. These water. cards are making the movie less than these yeah. cards. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just you wait, Pat. What I've got three of these Godzilla? for you. Yeah, screw the caveman, just get Godzilla in there. <laughs> yeah, oh, Pat's God. gonna get three note Damn, cards just to say fuck you guys. Crap? What? I would like to use Godzilla. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you can probably go through the discard pile too. Huh? You can probably go through the discard pile too. Choose a character from another player's like, any previous characters. pitch movie. Your movie features them as a grizzled, grizzled veteran. Oh. The caveman. I think it has to be one of the ones out now, or one of the ones you yeah, used last year. Yeah. Uh, okay. Simplicity. Let's just do the ones that are out. You can make way. a sequel. So do you want divorced dad or the caveman? Oh, that's or do you want one. Godzilla? <laughs> I'm gonna have a caveman who's a divorced dad. <laughs> okay, a divorced caveman. Okay. Yep. Divorced. As a grizzled veteran, this Gun caveman down. survived not only prehistoric times but also divorce Marriage. court. <laughs> Marriage. And he wrote the world's great. He wrote the great American novel on a white rafting water trip during a chess tournament that he unfortunately lost. And now, he killed Godzilla. Uh, and, and Godzilla, yeah, he saw it. Um, and so now, kind of disgusted with himself losing the chess tournament, but writing a good book, his next big adventure, becoming Elon Musk by building a <laughs> rocket ship to escape a okay. dying planet. Oh my God. Now, we don't know how he's going to do it. I, I was thinking maybe, uh, oh God, maybe Mike Myers or even Jack Black as our grizzled veteran. I mean, even, I mean, Mike Myers can be a very hairy man. I mean, you know, <laughs> you could just see it as a caveman and just learning the way, uh, like trying to build a rocket ship to leave this planet. We we have a lot going on here. We have rocket ships, we have cavemen. We've got all over, we're all over the place time-wise, right? <laughs> I think- I see a good history movie in the making here. I, I think very we go movie. a different yeah, yeah. direction and we just keep expanding it. What if we had like a <laughs> giant crossover here with the Twilight franchise? 
<laughs> pretty much this oh, is no. what's actually already happening. Exactly. I, I'm not even gonna, like, I mean, this is like, pfft. look at this, I'm already- Vampires, werewolves, yeah, love, movie. cavemen, spaceships. We could definitely do this. We could definitely have, uh- It's like spaceship. Second Life, the movie. Yeah, 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 oh but I'm trying to think, you know, with, with he, he, maybe he has his kids and his wife become rocket people. Part of the rocket ship. <laughs> the um, his all right, all right. Yeah. Movie. All right. All Z's movie now. Oh, oh all right, Pat. Good, good work, good work. The possibilities are endless. Apparently, I only had one note though. for you. I didn't play my other ones. We'll move on. I have to play a character card. Oh, don't fuck this up. A misunderstood troll. <laughs> <laughs> living under the bridge. All right, I like it. Wasn't I a troll under a bridge recently? I can't remember. JP, that's just you. Competes <laughs> in Fast and Furious Illegal Street Races. Oh, that crossover okay. card would have been great for this one. Oh my yeah. god. So you're saying the troll has this motivation to leave the bridge? This is... This is like a growing up kind of story, I would say, or like a not maybe not coming of age, but like discovering his true self. He's like, oh no, no, there's a twist, Z. Why is everyone starting? Yeah, what the fuck? I got a twist for you. What? Is, okay. I want this troll to be under Russian hypnosis. Oh my god! Cool. Twist. Continue, please. <laughs> okay, since oh, I haven't oh, even really gotten a chance to start the plot yet, that makes it easy. Oh, oh, Good. Oh, Go oh, ahead. Oh, oh. Here, 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 I gotta right. ask you. I ask. I gotta ask you. What's the what's the word to like put up and turn them into a sleep rage? Stank. 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 I'm glad everyone okay. here is pitching Z's movie. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it was. He used. He used to just be a, a troll living under the bridge, and okay. everyone hated him until a Russian investor or an, a, a, a Russian miracle worker discovered this troll and he saw this troll's too, true potential and he decided to put the troll under hypnosis to okay. to help this man make money from illegal street racing because it turns out that this troll <laughs> has a knack for driving. This man can, not, not this man, this troll, he, he, he can pump gas. <laughs> Okay. The troll races. He the can, troll is that a, was almost as we have, rocket people. We <laughs> have a budgeting <laughs> issue, Z. This troll. What? We need this to take place in one room. We can't afford to spend money on locations. <laughs> oh, good thing that's against the rules. I'm the a fucking illegal. director. I do what the fuck I want. I can't wait to see these <laughs> illegal street races in one room. With have you guys ever turned in a test like, to your teacher be, and you got it this, back with some red writing, but, but there's but only one like, sentence of red writing because they're not allowed to grade you on all the questions? This troll is so misunderstood. This troll gains confidence through this whole thing. He finally realizes that people aren't so bad and he doesn't have to live under the bridge anymore. He can come out and he can race cars. He gains confidence throughout Until the movie. Until someone like this says Russian shit. hypnosis guy. Okay. It's very wholesome. So the whole movie is going to take place <laughs> under the bridge? It's a, very it's a very wholesome movie. Good family movie, I would say. For what all was ages. That, uh, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Shoot, there was a Who would be the troll? What, what actor would be the troll? Danny DeVito. I was gonna say that too. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, like, but, like, but like blown up, you know? It's like he's pretty big. Yeah. You know? He's like, like proportion wise, he's still Danny DeVito, but he's okay. big. <laughs> well, I really like Z's pitch, but he refused to take my second note into consideration, which is gonna hurt him here. It's the rules! Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm the executive right now. Uh, you know, that's right. Executive's power. Key. I get it. Of course we do! Okay. We're executives! How do you think we got to our position? <laughs> yeah, like fucking over other people. <laughs> you man, all right, you Pat guys are really one. hurting your cases here. The only one's been nice to me is JP and Pat. <laughs> well, so we got divorced dad. Okay. Uh, the ten cats. I love the cats. Uh, hmm. We got the horror story with the kidnapped mom. That's good. This is going places. <laughs> caveman. I love the caveman. Whitewater rafting. We got the chest centigrade, we got the Godzilla monster. Like, honestly, this movie has it all. Hard to go wrong with that one. <laughs> but does it really? I mean, my movie has both of their movies. Your movie has a crossover with Twilight, and it has the caveman and Divorce Dad. Honestly, know, Pat, your movie does have it all. Have it all. Too much, I think, though. You ever seen Gremlins? 
Mike be like <laughs> I love Z's concept. I can see Danny DeVito as the street racing troll. The only problem is I think Z's gonna be rough to work with because he won't take all my notes to consideration. So Pat, what you got it. it. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll work more in. Wow. I could have, I could have solved the problem with. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it anyways. I know I, I lost already. But what, what if it turns out the whole movie was an imagination and it was just a kid imagining all of this, and that the, the street races took place on one of those carpets with the roads on them? You guys ah. know those, those, those when you were a kid. Oh, I had those, yeah, I had those yeah. as a kid. All so right, technically, see. the movie takes place in one room. Z, call my agent tomorrow. We'll make two movies work. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs>